And when I say abuse, everyone mind is saying, but no, it could be any type of abuse. The reason why some of us, some of you, are experiencing what you are experiencing right now, and this problem won't go away, is because you don't know your purpose. Because when you don't know your purpose, you don't have an identity. And when you don't have an identity, you could be anybody today and somebody else tomorrow. Because wow. anyone who comes along with a strong personality will pull you. Yeah. But when you have purpose, I will not cross that line. And no one will push me beyond this line. When you have purpose. I just answered some of your questions. And that's why some of y'all have issues right now. Because there is a lack of purpose. You can do ministry, but lack purpose. This is why the Bible says, many shall say, did not I cast out demons in your name? Did not I work miracles in your name? Did not I preach the gospel in your name? And you shall say, what? Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, because I knew you not. Why? Because you did not fulfill your purpose. God is a God of purpose. What God plans is intentional, meaningful, and guaranteed to succeed. God created everything with a purpose. The purpose of something determines its nature, its design, and its features. Not every purpose is known to us because we have lost our understanding of God's original intent for us. Where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. To discover the purpose of something never asks the creation, asks the creator. You try to find your purpose by asking your boy, he's the same age as you, and you're trying to fit in with him, but don't know your purpose. And this is why a lot of young men find themselves in gangs and in trouble. Because, because they don't know their purpose, they find themselves just going with the kids. And look here, we get around the corner, we can cut this movie right uh, You know, I know a lot of guys, because I talk to everybody. As a philosopher, I can't discriminate. Anyone who wants to talk to me, I listen to them, open, with no discrimination. You can tell me anything about you right now, and I will not look down. Because don't mind people in pretty shape and black pants. Don't mind that. Everyone had an issue or a struggle. The problem with the older generation is we appear too perfect. We make y'all feel as if we never make a mistake. And then when y'all make a mistake, you will come to church preaching on y'all. When we did the same thing. That's the problem with the church right now. You understand? You got a lot of self-righteous people in church. And, 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 and you see them approach that perfect, you can swear they just dropped from whatever or the rock. Like they never made a mistake. But then when you do something wrong, they take a text and a sermon on you in church. And this is the problem right now. The older generation has to come to the young people and say, listen, I smoke more dope than you, brother. I used to roll that on the Bible paper. <laughs> you, you think you high? I was on, you was on cloud nine. I was high on cloud 14. Yeah, you used to lock yourself in the bathroom for two hours. But when I get high, I used to lock myself in the bathroom for nine hours. <laughs> Okay, you're telling me, Pastor, uh, Mr. Philosopher, oh, I sleep with nine women. Nine? Man, I didn't have nine thousand. <laughs> nine. Uh, you, you, you ain't kept no movie. You ain't kept no movie. I kept movie. What is my point? Yeah. What is my point? What is, what is my point? Here? What, what, is, what is my point? Here? My point is, the person to point his finger at you, they see your potential and they see the power on the inside of you. Which is why they do their best to make you feel uncomfortable. Because they do not want you to come forth. They are of, because see, a lot of the older persons did not accomplish anything. A lot of them didn't accomplish anything. But when they see young people coming up with potential, they try to keep you down. But see, discovering your purpose is a lonely road because you're not going to have much friends. And you're not going to be popular. When you go to God, He knows how to make up for the time that we lost from not knowing your purpose. We find our purpose only in the mind of our Maker. God's purpose is the key to our fulfillment. God put your purpose within you, and in order to draw it out, you need to be assisted by His wisdom and revelation. Let me ask you a question. Who among you has the intestinal fortitude to answer the call to the Because it takes a lot of fortitude to fulfill your purpose. Because when all of your friends in your age bracket saying everybody doing it, and you tell them I ain't everybody, I ain't me. It takes a lot of intestinal fortitude to say. 
Man, everybody get nice. You want people to see this road bunking? Everybody get nice. Yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be